Kings, it's not too late to get that six pack for the summer. Just make sure you're spending seven minutes. Not only is this guy kind of annoying. Two sets of 30 seconds of sit up twists. I want to bring something to your attention. Something called the swimmer's body illusion. Imagine someone, if you will, that wants to get in shape. They think the bodybuilders look too swollen and stupid, and they think runners look too skinny and miserable. They go, oh, swimmers, they've got amazing physiques. I'll start swimming. Three, four, five months in, they realize they don't look like a swimmer. They're like, what the fuck is up? They then come to realize that. Swimmers don't look the way they do because they swim. They swim because of the way they look. People think I'm big and broad because I played rugby. No, I played rugby because I was big and broad. When my whole school year went to play rugby, only the big guys and the fast guys and the athletic guys actually enjoy it. Then they continue doing it and getting better. Those that don't, don't. So when we see people in shape like this, I'm sure he works very hard, but genetically spread across populations are some people that are just gonna build muscle quite easily and remain relatively lean with minimal effort. So people like this don't look the way they do because of what they're preaching. They're preaching what they preach because of the way they look. So why most personal trainers are really incredibly unfucking relatable. They're a non-empathetic, broccoli wheeled in ball bag. And because they're in good shape, their friends go, you should be a personal trainer. They wonder why it doesn't last out. They're only doing the job because of the way they look. They're not the way they look because of the job they do. It's important to keep that in mind whenever you see some cunt in baby oil online tensing his muscles and telling you to do ab workouts.